Wyatt's own eternal step in a Samuel play. <laughs> I got full, I got full named. What a, what a marvelous <laughs> moment that is. Lovely, <laughs> wonderful. Um, yes, uh, there is uh, drinks and a coffee machine at the back of the room, so help yourself to uh, <laughs> refreshments. Uh, please turn your phones off, um, and all uh, autographs and signings we'll be doing at the end of uh, today's stream. Is that what we needed to tell everyone, Steph? Yeah. <laughs> um, we, and we have a, um, a strong offering of Ribena as well. <laughs> Can I have a juice box? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Other other juices are uh, uh, are available. We have no we have no attachment. Mm -mm, where's my little my little listy list? Where's it gone? You not got post-it notes stuck out across all your monitors? It, That's it how we. On my screen, and it's got. Where's it gone? <laughs> oh dear. We'll have to do it unscripted. Who'd have thought that would happen? Well, let me find it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is everyone doing in the chat? Are you all, are you all excited for what's about to happen? No, I found it. I, uh, how dare you? I'm. It's um. It's not nothing um Christmas related. It's just if it snows, you can make something out of snow. Also, the oh, I've said the word. I have one rule: you can't say the c word um, until December. And I've just I've just broken my own rule. Also, the C word implies something very different, but um, apologies. <laughs> um, and also, this got, gets a lot of love. Let's be honest; um, people people really like it. So I work I work hard to uh, really feature my uh, m my cheap microphone arm. Do, do, do you put it on the microphone foam when you're not using it? Um, do you know what? <laughs> I hadn't actually considered that. It might be better there. <laughs> Uh, uh, there's a market. We're not far off of an Etsy store here, are we? Let's be honest. That, that, yeah. Can we I mean, 3D I mean, print I those? I mean, if you look at my, my office, it could basically be a store. <laughs> it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. So today, we are checking out Tin Hearts. I don't know if you want to give a little rundown on it. Um, yes, yeah, so we're going to take a look at Tin Hearts, a wonderful um, Lemmings-inspired uh, puzzle adventure game. I say adventure because uh, later in the game it, it sort of opens up and there's some considerable uh, more interesting and exciting interactions you have with the game. But also we're very story-led in that um, we're telling the tale of um, the world's greatest toy maker. Um, I always find it hard to sort of um, discuss story because you don't want to spoil too much, but it's really about a, a heartfelt story about um, family, love, and um, how far you, you'll go to, um, for, for those that you love. And um, this is played out through, um, effectively, inside a, a family home um, across many ac acts of gameplay. And uh, before you know it, You'll you'll find yourselves hev you'll find yourself heavily invested, um, and it's a beautiful tale um, that we 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 tell here, um, and we go through, as we'll see in this uh, this brief demo that uh, you'll be going through. Um, we go through a few acts of sort of difficulty, introducing the player to basic interactions with the world to uh, complete puzzles, but um, later on, don't you worry, there's plenty of. Um, uh, puzzles and levels that you'll be taking on where you might it might be scratching your head here and there and if uh, you know 30 40 minutes later you'll you'll feel accomplished by um, getting through them so um we've got a real solid offering and um i can't what well, we can't wait to i i, I can't wait to see you uh, go through it steph <laughs> <laughs> i can't wait to see how i can get through these puzzles let's uh, let's dive in hi chess hey hubble we all know how uh, how good I am at puzzle games. Wow. Well, so we oh, I'm holding you to that now. <laughs> there you go. That's a quote. So, yeah, we start off with a little... This is like a little tutorial. Yeah, so we tutorial the, the player slowly but, but surely, as it were. Um, and we you start off in the, the attic of the house. So we've got some sort of basic... Um, this is a very... This is, in fact, the start of the game. But uh, we're just showing that... 
you, at the start of each level, you open a box which will spawn your, your soldiers that you need to get to the exit door. And um, we have to uh, also uh, manipulate the world. So you're, if you um, uh, select the... Uh, well, the press press the shiny thing. My little puzzle piece. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So if you... Uh, uh, if you look at that and, and, and touch it, we so you then unlock what effectively we 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 call powers in the game. Um, so this will allow us to to move the puzzles, uh, the puzzle pieces that are currently fixed to blocks. Um, so you can allow our little soldier friend to get to to, to the, the end door there. Yep, give it a couple more. Oh, it says master sheep. Oh, we should put it on. No, we put it on here. Master sheep. Yep, so it's a sideways. There's a T, a T to its right hand side. Oh, yeah. It takes me a couple of goes. <laughs> but what, and now you've got uh, a slight issue here. So you can see what you need to, uh, to do to fix this. Yes. So if you put it, if you put put it, it back, back on this one. The um, marvelous thing about these sort of um, we we introduce later on is that uh, these puzzles aren't uh, how, can, how can I best put it? We don't. So if you move it now, if you possess and then move it now. Yeah, the so, so there you go. Um, and then later we introduce uh, manipulation of time, and what you can, allows you to do is speed it up if you're if you're so confident that oh yeah nothing's going to go wrong and off you, off you go. But also it allows you to sort of plan ahead, um, and we give the player a, a visual visualization of, of the route that the soldiers will, will take, and we find that players play very differently. Some like to just just do it, you know, go go forward and. Uh, do, do as much of the puzzle as they can but others including myself i like to sort of um take take stand back and uh plan accordingly so you you've just dived straight in i <laughs> I, I appreciate it it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it i was like there's more puzzle pieces yeah 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 yeah, yeah. it's great so what we're gonna do, yeah you're gonna place it that way and we're gonna drop it down wonderful a, a T. and then we're gonna take the u oh no we're gonna need the oh yeah we need the other one Oh god! Oh no! That. <laughs> but today, no, off. Oh, yeah. So while you while you're waiting, you could stick that T um, in that little slot there because you know that that soldier is going to bounce off and go to the T. And the early levels were very um, accommodating for these sorts of things. So you can see that they they the li little wooden. Uh, shape that stands up on that platform they just bounce off of it so we don't sort of have any sort of failure you're right you can uh, take it at your own pace and everything but here we introduce um the manipulation of time so the fact that you can uh the, the clock that albert the character you're playing um is actually working on so we allow the player to interact with that and 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 effectively pause or fast forward time or in this case fast and, the, and now you get this, oh, this beautiful one does a zoom <laughs> oh yeah, we get a bit of zooming. Yeah. Zoom button. Look at him. He looks so happy in there. You get to see the beauty of him. Look at him. Okay. So um, can... And now we can. We can rewind. Oh, that's. We that's can cool. rewind and we can fast forward. Yeah. Look at him run. Look at him go. Do, 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 do. And I suppose with the zoom, you can have a look down the corridor then and see see them go into the the door in the end. He does look fabulous. I didn't remember Bernard's watch where you could pause time with the stopwatch. Yeah. Okay. That's a throw. Bernard's watch. Wow. There you go. Oh, wow. Look at look. You can actually pan around and look at the rest of the room. That's quite cool. Yeah. So you you may notice that you're sort of fixed in position there. I'm not going to give anything away. He's not but real. Um, you'll soon He's find not out. real. <laughs> it's a toy bird. Okay. So. I mean, there's no rush here. You don't need to open the box. Think about <laughs> think, think about the process. <laughs> okay, so we've got you've gone there. for it. 
There you go. Yeah, well, the one that. What, what's the other ones? What's the other pieces? So we have um, a moment here of. You've got two pieces in front of you. I'll, I'll tell you that much. Oh, so I can switch the pieces. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we don't technically need that one there then. So what's Correct. There. Uh huh. It's like when you, you're cooking and you've got everything just all over the place. Well, at least that's how I work. <laughs> don't know how I got cooking. There we go. As well as it being um, a beauty to look at, the, the the music across the game is absolutely awesome. I can't get enough of. Um, so in each act, the sort of tonal, tonal. Uh, I'm trying to find the word, but the to tonal music scape. I'm going to use that. I'm going to pull that one out. Probably not even a term, but uh, changes to sort of reflect the uh, what's happening in the, in the game. Um, so everything's rather um, cheerful and pleasant at the moment. I miss my rollerblades. Oh, did she give us another piece? <laughs> At the moment, player, I really love this reveal here. It is rather. <laughs> but like all those toys could do with googly eyes. Yes, just yeah, yeah. What, what we? Ah, so we ha we can we can. We're we looking at add, adding that feature, maybe I don't know. Yes, yeah, so now we get to ex sort of explore the world, and we get um in that brief cutscene, we get introduced to um your daughter who's going to uh, play quite a significant, well, uh, significant uh, part of the, of the game's story. Obviously, it being uh, a family tale, as, as it were. Quick, see if we can beat him. And they're off. And then we can fast forward as we know they're all going to make it. Yeah, now you're feeling, yeah. You're, you're feeling success. Paul. Last one, off he goes. There we are. So you saw there um, your daughter Rose playing with the, the, the blocks on the other side of the, the room. Now, if, if you um, if you head on out, this is so this is the first time you can actually interact with the world. So we're going to go and uh, push the door open here. And this is how you progress to each each level. Wow. And we're now getting to see more more of the attic here. So well, the one thing you really want to um, the sort of love and affection of this is that the oh oh oh, oh pause a second pause pause <laughs> oh god <laughs> shut the box I'm shut like, the box I've paused him I've paused him oh you're gonna oh, pause yeah. it okay right so now. We, we change it up a little. So you were using fixed blocks before, and now you're able to use these red blocks that you see that are, um, scattered around the room. So we do hide a, um, a few bits and pieces here and there. So there's a couple there. There's one on the table over there. Um, and in some levels, we do hide them in places that you might have to go go and find them. But what's about to happen is if you go back to the to the uh, the spawn box, oh, they're I coming out of. Is he going to bounce up there? He's gonna bounce. Oh wait, right. <laughs> on the little, I can, I can, see, I can. I'm already visualizing it. It looks like there's some sort of sequence, and he bounces across stuff. Okay, let's let's try and figure this out. What what are these? What are these stop watching things? Okay, what we well, first box? first of all, you're gonna end up. They're gonna end up jumping onto the floor, and I'm afraid yeah. smashing. So we need to <laughs> fix that. But also <laughs> notice how you're you're getting the um the li the line of uh, the, the yeah. path is. So what we, what I really love about this is that so if you pick up one of the red blocks well even while while we're still paused here if you go and interact with one of these turn it round in the uh in the uh angle we need in the direction we need it to go which is towards the yeah exactly oh, so yes. now and then as soon as you place it um in this in this little moment here it will there you go perfectionist love it but it, while it's paused so pause again 
then you can see the line again. Okay. Exactly. So now you've got a perfect yes. Exactly. So, and then we're going to use this way drum. You move it, yeah. it kind of shows you where it's going to bounce. That's quite cool. It is. It is one of my favourite things about. Um, you're going to need it later on. Put it that way. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> Are we going to see them fall off the table? We don't want that. No one wants that. We want we want our toys to get safely across across the, the world. So we don't want that. I can't place that one. But yes, if if you went terribly wrong, that that is what would happen. So here we have. Watch him um, bounce, watch him you, you. Boing. And then he'll hit that wall. And, then and that isn't going to come back. So back. Oh, is that your plan? I was going to like put this here. Will it be? No. Oh, oh no. you're gonna. Oh no! Oh no! Or is he gonna go back across? Or are they just gonna keep? Well, now you've caught, you caused yourself an infinite loop, haven't you? Really? Oh, no. So, what you can do now is you could maybe possibly just show off rewinding time. So if you just rewind time. Ah, oh, okay. There you go. There you go. There you go. And then pause. Okay. Now. The other thing is you what you could have done if if you really feel like you need to hit the the reset button all you need to do is close the initial box the spawner box at the start and you'll reset everything so the, they'll, they'll go back in their box and then you can rethink but but that's up to you if you want to do that that's pretty good yeah, oh do that. yeah. there you go okay so um, let's, let's do that then as, 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 as i already started closing it just so there you go it. and in they go Okay, so we've placed so this that's, one here and this one That's here. the turn it off and turn it back on yeah. approach, right? So now we know that they're going to come down, they're going to go to the right, and they're going to bounce off of the, the drum onto the uh, the platform. So let's preempt this and already put the other red block that you've got left over, yeah. the one on your, so on your right. So I need the one, don't I, to go across? Yep. No, so let's just turn it round so it angles. Um, let's do. Is there a way of describing? Yeah, the sort of act. One more. Oh. Oh no! Turn it, turn it, turn it right one more time. There you go. There we go. It should be all right. Right, let's go. And you should be able to see when it's paused um, how they. Uh, how they're going to react to that so if you need to to mani manipulate it and move it elsewhere um you can so yeah off it goes ding 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 oh ding. no it just misses oh, oh no oh there you go you won't fall off oh there we go oh no oh yeah he just there you go okay let's go and then i just need the one so the ability box there already tells you you're gonna it's you're gonna um gain something from this uh this level so what do you think it could be? Uh, I'm going to gain something. Well, you're going to gain an extra extra power. So the fact that you can't currently... Um, so you can't currently actually uh, play with the, the drums. So what we're going to unlock here is we're going to be able to then interact with the drums and then and then point in the, in the direction of which they can, can bounce in. So once... Um, if you let it... If you let it go, and the, oh, there we go, the box opens up, and we can interact with it uh, once you've had the soldier go in. Oh, oh he's, he's not completely no. fine, is he? Oh, no. So I'm going to have to reverse it a little bit. He should go in. If you unpause, he should go in. Was it paused? I think you were, yeah, you were briefly paused. Okay, we're very So he's comfy cozy. Oh, he's going. There oh, we go. Know. Wonderful. So now you don't need to... Hopefully. Yeah, so we're alright. So they're just going to bounce off back and forth. So you're not gonna, while you're doing this, you're not going to lose any of your soldiers, which is, of course, important. Well, then you feel bad about it, right? <laughs> you, 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 that's how that works. 
<laughs> okay, so you're now... gonna you're gonna have to li you're gonna have to live with that decision. <laughs> so now we've unlocked bouncing. Yes, yeah, so now we're going to, um, so if we go to the, 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 let's have a, let's have a think about how we're going to do this. So now they're going to, they're going to obviously want to go back to the initial drum. Yep. And, um, oh, we're going to change the way they are. Exactly. So let's bounce to the second drum. Yep. And over the little bridge. Yes, oh, so now this is I, this is the little our uh, little um, balloon machine. So this is going to help us get further across. And now what we're going to end up doing is they're going to get on uh, inflate a little balloon and that allows them to float and they're going to float over and they're going to bounce on that off that drum. Now, if we just pause a second. I know you're keen. I know it's exciting. <laughs> <laughs> Let's make sure they get safely over. So the drum is going to it's going to bounce. And they go, and currently they're bouncing infinitely up in the air. So let's point it towards the corner of that um, that little, yep, the little cannon there. Perfect. Yes. And that's how we're going to do it. We're also teasing you here, here a little because there's a button on the side of that cannon. So if, as we wa as we watch this happen, um, oh if you play, look, look at them. This is adorable as well. If you see the detail on the um, the balloon machine, it's amazing. So off they'll go, bounce across, and they'll actually, as you saw there, they knocked, the, they fired the cannon, which knocked over a, a vase that was on the the shelf, um, and that sort of alludes to uh, in the next few levels um, in the full game what what you'll be using the the, the cannon for. Um, we'll, we'll be showing you. We'll be doing that in this demo though as well. It's, it's it's adorable. I get Wallace and Gromit long. vibes from this. Yeah, 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 yeah. I really get uh, Wallace and Gromit sort of um, vibes from that little uh, inflator. Okay, we got, every, we, got, we got all nine. We're okay. There you Those go. Soldiers were lost. Now, you can progress in the game by just getting one through the door. But no, everyone's a completionist, right? You wouldn't want to... Yeah. yeah, there you go. So there are there are plenty of um, if you were if you get through with eight out of nine, I'm sure there will be plenty of people out there who feel um, they could have done that little bit extra. So now we we're um, we're in the house itself. So now we we've jumped forward a little here, and this is um, so you were playing the in the game's first act, and now we introduce the the second act, and we get a nice little cutscene. Everyone likes a little cutscene. Hello. I didn't see you. How long have you been standing there? Me? Well, I just got here. Well, please, do carry on. Well, don't mind me. Pretend I'm not even here. Well, There's drums everywhere. All right, then. First, I will say, we of course, uh, um, who doesn't love a bit of music, right? Yeah. So that's a like a me memory from what it looks like. Maybe it is. <laughs> it looked like a sort of like 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 a flashbacky memory. Is that a cup of tea? That's of tiny. Course. Why is, is it so small? <laughs> it'd be quite cold as well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't touch that. It looks like a sort of cup of tea someone, a certain someone in, in the wired office might make, and I would be absolutely, um, well, I would, I would comment quite poor, poorly on. That's not how I like my tea. Um, what I will guy. say, <laughs> this is the, the, these are the little bits I absolutely love. Just going around and you see, you see like the sort of. I like exploring. Um, I like looking at everything. That's what makes it fun. Um, and like I said earlier, we, we place plenty of things uh, that you're going to have to use in, in, in certain areas. So it's always good to go around and have a look around. 
Um, I do want to point out, this is obviously, um, we're still in development here, so a few hitches in the uh, the cut, um, our brief little cutscene there, but please just uh, give us, uh, uh, just have it known that we're still under development and the rest of it. But what's important about that um, introduction there to Helen, uh, Albert's wife, is the sort of, um, as Act 2, Act 2 in introduces Helen, and a new and the more uh, story about the actual family itself so this is actually um a part of the game that a lot of people haven't had a chance to to see so um this is also one of the larger um early puzzles so um i'll let you um scout out the room you've already you've already spotted a, a rather key situation yeah, so it look oh it looks like we have 10 soldiers on this one so we've got more more yes. soldiers but there are i saw a little ladder there's a little ladder over here which looks adorable are they gonna climb this if they do oh my god <laughs> if you look over little, to the and you look to the left cannon and oh, yeah. a button yeah okay what else we got there's a drum here there's drums everywhere so they're gonna bounce we're gonna be bouncing oh my god do they jump from the drum onto the piano oh that's so cool okay yeah, it's like the whole, they make oh, the whole room a puzzle. Exactly. Like, oh, that's another balloon machine. Yes. Our favorite okay. part. Our favorite okay, part. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, where, where was the little box? It's over here. Over here. So, so the box is uh, actually on that shelf at the top there. But one okay. thing that's um, important to point out is our little guy on our little, um, the, uh, the music stool that's by the exit door. You would have seen yes. him. You, you fell in love with him immediately. Yes, look at him. So... So, he is our one man band. And if you if you see what's on him, everything um connect he's playing is connected to the room. So we've got a squeeze box there. Um we've got the harp on his on his back um and a, a, there is a drum as as well. Um and what we're going to end up doing is we if you if you sort of uh zoom out a little, you'll notice that the stool isn't quite high enough for the for that for that yeah. um yes so if we were to send our little friends over via this balloon machine straight away well we we can do it and you can see what happens do you want to see do you, do you want to see what yeah, happens we can, we, we can always rewind it afterwards exactly yeah, exactly it looks that's the like match. he's gonna fly over there but then have nowhere to go but let's let's, let's have a look because this is one of those puzzles where, and I'm sure plenty of other games, I can't think of the top of my head, does do these things of like luring the player to think, oh, I'm, I'm, oh, no, I just need to, oh, this is straightforward. Yeah. This is just, yeah, yeah, this is easy. Let's just, let's just go in head first. Let's just, let's go. I love how it's like an effort for them to climb out. It's really I cool. know, bless them. And they, and they, yeah. uh, they struggle to keep on their, yeah, it's just, oh, God, here they go. it's, uh, they go it is the quite machine. the adventure. It's the little arms. <laughs> I love it. It's brilliant. Oh. Off they go. Oh. And there we go. Boink. Oh, they're smaller than him, him as well. Oh, he's a he's a proper uh, <gasps> leader amongst many. Oh, and no. they're not. They're oh, oh, they're on the floor. What have you done? They're free. Oh. <laughs> oh no so as you can see that's uh rather well unhelpful and yeah, we, we, we've we've lo we've lost our little friends there to the uh to the to the floor <laughs> <laughs> it's been so confined let's uh, to the floor y yes confined to the floor they're they're not getting off back off of that floor so let's um that never happened. Let's close the box. Let's um, say <laughs> save them. Pick I'm them gonna up. Save them. Here you go. I'm yeah, gonna yeah. save them. There you go. There you go. Whew. Okay, so we need to work okay. this out. So he flies over there. But then how do we get them from the, from there to? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the music instruments in the room. So let's um, let's look at the the initial uh, table. And see that there's uh, so on the table with the flowers there. There's some red blocks that they're going to be okay. very helpful. So let's bring one of them over to the um, to the uh, the spawner box. Uh, oh, is it up here? Uh, yes, to where we start off. Yep. So if we place that by the balloon machine, and we angle it 
um, towards the the piano side of the room. Because if you were to, uh, yeah, just put it down for a moment so you can see you can see what I'm well I'm getting to. You know that they're going to attempt to walk onto the. Uh, you need to place it on the actual surface, otherwise it thinks you've just uh, yeah. put it in the air to reset it. Um, we're gonna. Uh, so you're gonna do 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 do. Yeah, like that. Yeah, perfect. Ah, so, so jump down onto here. So now he's gonna jump down here. Now this is where this is when it's fascinating how people do this. So I do this in a very. I always did this level in a completely different way, and then only recently I I was shown how it's supposed to be be done. Ah, so there's different ways. In yes, which you there is. The yeah. yeah, yeah. There's numerous different ways, and you could you could be really manual about it and and perfect move things um, very uh, intrins intrinsically, constantly pausing or moving this, that, the other. But here, there are there are a few options. So I, I tell you what, I'll I'll point you through a couple of ways because it will it will be interesting for for those watching. Possibly, possibly, hopefully, of course, they'll be interesting. <laughs> now, you spotted the cup of tea. Now, what you can do is you can have the soldiers come down, knock into this block. They're then going to drop down towards the cup of tea and bounce off the tea. <laughs> I thought you were going to say they're going to fall in the tea. Fall in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have a bath. Um, but so what they would do is they would walk down, hit the tea, then walk towards that little toolbox there. And then if you look, look to your right, ah. they're then going to bounce on the, off this drum. Now, the drum... We need to interact with and put it onto the yes i'll put it onto the old xylophone so everyone's kind of, favorite kind of child kind of like set up the room before letting them out basically yes exactly well this is the thing so you've you've already proven your um you want to get on with things that's yeah. fine that's fine we like we like um you know like players like that although you you're not under any pressure there's no time limit and you're you're able to um to do um do things the way you like to do things. Uh, you might want to, if you just adjust that drum again, um, the arrow was pointing up and we need it to, if you put, if you slightly angle it more oh, into, yeah. into the, there we go. Now they're, now they're going to go right. Yeah. So they set that up. Now I mentioned they bounce off the T. Now the way I do this, and this is how I originally do it. And I probably will still continue to do it is I actually use the block that's already on the top there. And I face the, flat side towards where the soldiers are going to go. Does that make sense? Ah, uh, yeah. So then they just hit a flat surface and bounce exactly the opposite way around and they're going to they're going to um they're going to head yeah. towards the yeah, yeah. But you do it the way you think. <laughs> <laughs> well, anything to interact with the T, so. Yeah, exactly. There you go. So maybe you want to angle it slightly with the T so we can we can see that when when you open the box and, and pause um, so you can see the preview of the um, uh, of the of the of where they're going. Yeah, I think I think you're spot on there. So if we open the box now. Here they come. Lift. Now, are you, are you feeling super confident or are you going to? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's I'm holding it there. And right. Then, okay. and, and, and then that's it. I like so I'm going to have to angle that's already angled okay that's fine that's already angled so we're going to go on the piano so we don't have to worry about that for now okay, I just want to watch uh, this yeah don't, you have don't you got the it over, there we go yeah oh hey there we go so now they're going to perfectly bounce but like i said um i think it's fascinating watching we've been to a few um shows um where people have played uh played the game and it's always fascinating to see how people uh do complete these puzzles because as i as i mentioned i i was only shown it i've shown this route recently and i i yeah. was I, I, it was definitely not how i it'll be nice like when it when it does come out to be able to see uh, how people have completed how people things do different routes and things and it'd be nice to to see people share their dip, like the different ways that they go definitely <gasps> Adorable. And we see there that there's a little xylophone on the on the side of him as well. So that that <laughs> indicates that that we've just interacted with the xylophone in the room, and we and we see mother and daughter playing music together here. So Helen and Rose. <laughs> yes, that's right. Well done. Okay. So we've got 
got to map out the rest of the room. Yes. Now you feel under pressure because they're on. Now I'll pause it because we don't know where that drum's going to go. Okay, yeah, no, we don't. Luck luckily, we, we make it somewhat slightly safe, but um, yeah. we need to. You, you've already worked out where we're going. Okay, to the other drum. Goes back on the floor. So what you can do here is if you press if you press Y, well, uh, well now if we press Y, oh, there we go. Uh, uh, if you press the Y button, the camera angle will actually switch to the uh, top of the. Uh, it allows you to see the top of it. There you oh, go. Yeah. Oh. Okay, so there we go. So then, if you want a more of a precision uh, aim, as it were, you can you can use that. But you got it first. You you got it perfect first time. I so. Winged it. I was I was never uh, I was never in doubt, and here we get to see what's going to happen next, which is we're going to end up interacting with the harp in the room. So we're gonna we're gonna jump across balloon machine, another balloon machine. You'll be happy, <laughs> and they're gonna and they're gonna slide down um, the harp, all, all adorable. Ugh. Are we ready, guys? Are we ready? Let's play. Are we confident? Yeah. Um, well, once we get to there, <laughs> well, let's go. We must save all ten. Angle it so that we can see. We look at him go. Oh no, is he? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. There's the balloon maker. There's a little noise as well when you hear him. Yeah, it's the little, <laughs> the little balloon noise that it makes. The little, the puff of uh, blowing up the balloon. Yeah. It's just, it's it's just like a, it's adorable. Like a, sli a slight squeak. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love it. I love that it, it with one, one arm, it's pumping up itself. It's just brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. And off we go. As he walks, the little seat's going up. Yeah, so our music still uh, rises here. That's it. Now we're all safely on the table. So yeah, <laughs> you're very lucky here. <laughs> so the violin is allowing the, the bow and the violin is, um, and this is where we also you sort of realise that the environment itself is is, is always going to help you out. <laughs> you know, if you see something angled, possibly it's it's going to be able you're going to be able to use it as we saw the, with the teacup and the toolbox earlier, I suppose. But now we're off for a further adventure. So um, you spotted it earlier on. Yeah, so we've got a little. Yeah, and... we've also got a drum, so I, I, we're best finding out where the drum's going to go first. So are we going over there? So let's go and have a let's go and uh, bump into the little button on the. Yep, I think you got that one. Okay. There you go. And then we're going to double check with the cannon. It, I think it um, automatically aims at the ladder, but we want to make sure that it's going to knock this ladder down so we can progress further and we get an equally as cute thing um <laughs> that happens when um when they climb the ladder so well at least i think i think they look adorable when they climb the ladder. you um interact with the cannon oh we can interact with the cannon ah okay yeah so it's already yeah we can see uh, the circle's solid there so that means it's gonna inter yeah it's gonna affect affect that so we're all, all good 
We don't want to damage any, um, you know, plant plants. So we're gonna need to put this uh, in here. Yep. In Perfect. Let, let him pass with it. Yeah. Wait for him. To... There you go. <laughs> Does the premium edition of the game always come with a producer to talk you through the game? <laughs> Um, yes, of course. I, I agree. Yeah, um, it's a part of the. Uh, <laughs> it's what I signed up for. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on call twenty four seven. You know when you used to ring up tip lines and stuff like that. Yeah, you just yeah. get a direct direct input from myself. Just try not to make the uh, the uh, phone calls three a.m. in the morning. So. <laughs> okay, we've made it. Yes, and now we've made it. Um, and we're going to get up here. And now we're going to use a block in a, diff a, a different way. Because once we get up to this, up this ladder, they're going to they're gonna hit that book. And they're not going to be able to climb the book. So yeah. what we're going to do is turn one of the red blocks. That, uh, let's use the one that's on the, the table behind us. If, if all the soldiers are safely. Pause it for a sec. So there you go. Is everyone over? Oh no, oh no, he's going. He's going. But we, we can use the block here. Yep. Yeah. So now we can head up um, to the top shelf here and then and then rotate it vertically. So if you press down on the D-pad. Oh. Or up. Yes. And then flip it flip it over. So it's gonna we're gonna use it as a ramp. Uh one yeah. More. One more. There you go. There you go. And now, um, that is in the correct space. It's just, yeah, and then they'll, they'll head up there. And then they'll drop. And then they'll drop down, and then they're going to hit the, um, I think it's a squeeze box. Please, please do um, correct me if I'm uh, incorrectly. <laughs> um, <laughs> is there an actual name for that other than a, a squeeze? I've never heard of it being called a squeeze box. I, I, I want to I wanna say it's a squeeze box. At least that's what I, I, I know it as. I'm sure it's got a far more exciting name. <laughs> I love this bit in the demo. Look at them go! Okay, let's press, let's press play. So let's watch them as they look how they climb up the little ladder. Look. I mean, that's as much effort as them getting out of the box, poor things. Like, they're, they're really. I'm not good with ladders myself, but. Uh. <laughs> they're going to be hench soldiers at the end of this. Yeah, they're going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Quite the workout. Look at that. Oh. An accordion. An, an accordion. We could take an accordion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How how do they differ? Or are they exactly the same thing? Yeah. Reminds me of Rube Goldberg machine. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yeah. We, um, I'm a ladder like I do. <laughs> it is rather Rube Goldberg. That's rather, um, although, you know, we're, uh, I always see the ones where, like, it's a 30 minute uh, Rube Goldberg machine to, to boil a kettle or something like that. At least we're, um, we've got little adorable soldiers in our, in, the, in our case. So off we go. We're going to get another, we're going to get another moment on either the accordion or the squeeze box. <laughs> Please correct me if I'm wrong. There you go. And finally... to go back down to the tea again so they're gonna basically go around again so maybe <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. maybe we should have moved that earlier however uh -oh. don't you rewind. worry you you've got yeah you've got the power don't you worry so if we rewind power. just rewind enough as you I need to where they were going i just saw them jumping off this thing i was like oh my god where are they going <laughs> there you go and then um 
and then so let's cool. uh, let's just move that block out the way. It just it doesn't even need to be there now, and um, yeah. and they'll go over safely. Let's put it back on the table. Yeah. Go, and then they should now go through the balloon. Off they go. They'll be able to. They'll be able to get over there safely. Yeah. I have a simple solution. We grab the soldiers and move them by hand to the destination. <laughs> but then you wouldn't see them go on the cute little balloon ride. I hadn't thought about that one. And with those and with those red blocks, if you um. If you like to have all your tools by you at all times, you, there's nothing stopping you physically having them nearby and placing them. Like you can even like put them on top of other objects, <laughs> so it's a bit like um, yeah, uh, yeah, having your toolbox near you, I suppose. Okay, it's it's balloon making time. It never gets old. Brilliant. Off he goes. This little jump that he does. Can't imagine the amount of logic. Uh, the 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 team at Rogue Sun are uh, absolutely geniuses. Um, the design of these puzzles. I I if you if you the player feel like stressed completing it and and trying to wreck um rack your mind about how how to do it. I I can't even imagine. Um, the process of how it has been to to create these puzzles that's for yeah. certain because you want them to be challenging enough for someone playing but also yourself and uh, amazing off they go I've got any, I've got any left. oh two left I like that shade of purple. I might have to uh, find out. What I'm sure, I'll find out what it is on the old Dulux uh, color chart. There we go. And then we can, uh, and then we can progress to the next uh, the room. Do we have time for the next room, or do we keep this for next time? Do we have a sneak peek, and then? Let's have a sneak peek we'll, of we'll, what, we'll what, have, what, what. Um. We'll have a sneak peek of what's to come, and then uh, maybe leave it for the next time. Oh wow. Oh wow, yeah. Oh wow, wow. I love the rugs. Is there anywhere I can go? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's amazing. I look really at the, like look the rug. Look at the rug. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's lovely. It's a solid rug. Um, so yeah. now we show, we show, uh, we'll give, show a sneak peek of, um, so we were in the, in the house. And now we are in the basement of the house, and you will notice immediately, of course, the rugs and the yeah, firewood. Yes, 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 the rugs. But, um, but this is actually the game's third act. We were just in the second act briefly, and this is the third act. And this is where we sort of show, hopefully, showing some contrast of how the game is going to change throughout. So now we've got a lot more mechanical, sort of gothic, a bit of electricity, possibly. Um, going along and we started off with um a very cute and somber experience in the attic in, in in today's demo so this really sort of showcases the game's story which um as you go along you'll you'll uncover some um well i don't want to give too much away but um life has t uh, tales of life have uh well the I can't think of anything poetic, but uh, <laughs> you get you catch the drift. Yeah, Siege says, is there a fast forward ability since they take a while to walk? There is. So there's fast forward, there is a pause, and a rewind button. Um, so we've got some little jars up here, we've got some tools. You can see some of his. Uh... Oh, look! There's an actual like piece of paper there, look, with like the drawing of the tin heart, look. Yes. Soldiers. That's really cool. And if you were to, if you, um, I can say that a lot, a lot of the um, sort of designs of the the toys and mechanisms that 
you use um you'll see blueprints of them and and um little bits and pieces yeah so here we yeah yeah there you oh, go that's perfect really cool, yeah yeah it's like a little sneak peek within the game of how things are so we've got this here this this means we cannot go no further but we can just have a little sneak peek so we've got oh there's only six soldiers on this one and then we've got some torture torture devices over there <laughs> Just a tentacle horror game. <laughs> dentist. Yeah. The old dentist devices. We must um, escape the room before we die. <laughs> okay, we got I mean, I, I feel like I feel like I've when I had some <laughs> molar, molars out, that's what they used. Um But what you notice here is that um there's a little bit of uh, like like alluded to the sort of electricity of the of the room is going to allow us to get from yeah. each part of the uh, uh, each part each room yeah, right, each like, table pun yeah it's like it's all the way around across here oh look this is working all under here look. Yeah. oh yes yeah 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 what else My little heads little wooden heads well well spotted. <laughs> <laughs> Mass production. <laughs> Previous victims. <laughs> Trophies. <laughs> Previous dentist victims. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Very observant, Stephanie. <laughs> We've got lots of paint as well. There's little paint pots everywhere, which is quite cute. Ooh, we've got the um, the style, the style of the of the rooms really do change. Um, well, and and the levels, puzzles. And the, and the rest of it really do change throughout the game. So this is where we sort of we want to want the color palette of the game to f sort of feel a little uh, less welcoming, possibly later in, in the game. So you feel you can uh, understand what Albert is going through um, story story wise, and then also these rugs. So don't forget about the yeah, rugs. These rugs, yeah, they are, they're very nice. I wonder if they come in different colors. <laughs> I know what you're doing straight after this. You're taking a photo of those rugs. You go going on Pinterest. You're finding out where where you get them. <laughs> I mean, the one in the middle is nice, but I like these ones. Preference in the uh, the tassel. <laughs> <laughs> knew it would knew it would little, be the tassel. The little tasselly bits. <laughs> shall we um shall we leave it there and we can we can check this yes. one out um and okay. possibly more and another, and another time. Now. There we go. But yeah, there's a... Uh... Oh, look. So as you can see from the demo screen as well, there's little uh, sneak peeks in the background of... Uh, there's like a little plane. So maybe at some point in the game, we get to maybe like ride a plane. We've got a cannonball. There is a... What do you call it? A hot air balloon? There's... There is a hot air balloon. Yes, yep. Yeah. There's the little train. Um, and then if you can see ever so slightly, there's a little jack-in-the-box in the corner there as well. It's Looking a little sinister. It's creepy. Yeah. You love um, that art style. It's very nice. It's, it is nice. It's it's proper like old school like toy shop. Like it reminds me of like a like like like, like a Christmas toy shop work like workshop. That's what it reminds me of. Sort of Christmas cow vibes. Is that what you're getting, Victorian? Yeah. Uh, it's very nice. We, I can definitely see the rooms getting a little a little harder as they progress, but with the element of being able to pause and rewind and fast forward like there's endless different ways in which you can make your different little paths to go around and work out how to get from one side of the room to the other so there's no like wrong way but oh no yeah um, 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 as i mentioned earlier there's no um you're not under any pressure so yeah. it's your own time <laughs> i was about to say it's your own time you're wasting uh, but it is very much that you know we don't ever put you under a time layer you you can check out each room and uh each puzzle effectively to work out how you're going to get forward and also you you've seen one of the that's one of the, the music room is one of the first larger levels and i can tell you that that is not um large in comparison to some of the later levels you'll be I'm not kidding when I've said the first playthroughs of some of the later levels have taken me probably just under an hour and I found myself it was so satisfying when I completed it but I needed like a five minute I needed to go and yeah. put the kettle on five minute break just to get through the, the next one but because it's so satisfying and the game's story is going to lead you uh, along you're going to you're going to want to find out what happens and of course um, 
that means uh, investing investing brain power in uh, yeah. working out some of the more complicated things we introduce you to. Uh, Siege says the game seems peaceful. Can't imagine if there was an evil soldier that you have to protect them from. <laughs> um, well, Aoki you've says, already you've already put them all on the floor, Steph. So you're, <laughs> maybe you're the evil soldier. I don't know. You have to see what happens if you just left them. But um, my Aoki says it, it's it's a little like unpacking. Uh, do, you, do you know the unpacking game? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It says yeah. it seems very therapeutic, and you can just go at your own pace. It's a perfect game for winding down from a week at work. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. You can just kind of yeah move things around and yeah your own little pace, which is quite nice. And the, the game soundtrack as, as well, I find it it just it it's very really soothing. yes lulls you yeah you, yeah it's lovely. I I um, can't can't get enough of the the music music from the music room to be. You fair. get some puzzle games where they um where they'll be on a bit of a timer, but the music makes you feel under pressure. And you're just yeah, like, rushed. I've got to do it, I've yeah. got to do it. But this is just so mellow and it's so soft. Yeah, and yes. it's just like, oh, it just, yeah. Nice and slowly, which is quite nice. So yeah, it's uh, it's available for Nintendo Switch on was it April 20th. April That's the one. Yes, April 20th. Double check there. <laughs> uh, yeah, Nintendo Switch on April 20th. Mm -hmm. And and we'll be we talking about um, other platforms uh, very very soon. Yes, very, very soon. Uh, if I just pop into the chat real quick, so if you uh, want to check out the game, um, and also we have a Discord. So yeah, we have uh, join the official Tin Hearts Discord. The link is in the chat there. Um, the devs are in there as well. So if you ever want to ask any questions or see any behind the scenes sneak peeks um and maybe some potential betas down the line uh join the discord there um and you can also uh wishlist uh the game there on steam as well the perfect uh with the games discord it's it's great to sort of uh grow a community around around the game and also get people excited about what what's coming up and it's it's the first place where we'll, yeah, like you've just said, Steph, is where we'll announce and show things I'm off. In there. Even, you can come we, say uh, hi. There you go. <laughs> we might even show things off early in there. Put it that yeah, way. Little, little, little sneak peeks. There you go. Yeah. Um, but yeah, thank you. Thank you so, so much to everybody who's uh, joined us today. Uh, Siege says he's there. They've wish listed. Woo! <laughs> thank you. Thank you. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, we're looking to hopefully do some different streams. Um, sort of every every week on a Wednesday so hopefully uh, see you guys next time keep an eye on the uh, on the on the on the Twitter is where we usually announce it um, but yeah if you pop them notifications on you'll never miss a, a live stream oh well Thanks it's been an absolute pleasure we'll forward to seeing more yay but yeah we'll, uh, we'll we'll do we'll do some mixtures of like sneak peeks and a lot of like some of the demos we've got and then we'll also mix in a couple of different games as well that maybe you guys can come and join in and play we'll do like some community days um oh we got a new oh. follower thank you so much for the follow thank you Did you see my little my little tin heart I, I i loved it it was great yeah <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome yeah <laughs> But no, thank you so, so much for today, guys. Um, it's been absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much as well, Sam, for, for joining me and no problem. Me through the game. It's been an absolute pleasure. So, yeah, thank you so, so much again. Bye, guys. We wave. <laughs> we'll wave. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs> <Bye. laughs>Dear John, I did it. I've passed basic training and I'm now officially a fusilier of the 8th Regiment. So far, life as a fusilier has been rather exciting. Yes, it's true what they say. The job does involve a fair amount of marching. But, oh, John, the places we get to march to. The exotic locations we get to visit. Though, of course, there are challenges aplenty on these expeditions. Luckily, they provide an array of tools, gadgets, and vehicles we can rely upon to push on with our journey. That is, if we don't perish along the way. You see dangers lurk in every corner, and careful planning is required to avoid them. There are those, too, who like to break ranks, and while well, I can't say it's a practice I myself approve of, these fellows often do get us out of tough situations. I suppose there's a place for everyone in the regiment, whether they crave adventure or live to serve. 
There's a place for you too, so I hope you'll join me here. I can't wait to show you more. <laughs>